With the win against UCLA Saturday night, Memphis became the first men's Division I school with 38 wins in a single season. But come Monday, they want a different first, a first national title. Hey, how are you, folks? Welcome back to Destination San Antonio, presented by Coors Light. We've moved outside the Alamo Dome, inside the festivities. Joe Jones, head coach of Columbia, Steve Lapis, CBS College Sports Network, and, of course, CBS Bill Raftery joining us here. Jason Horwitz, glad to be with you. And, guys, when you look at this matchup as a whole, John Calipari said it today that he thinks that these two teams are very similar. Same player, just different players, but they all do the same thing. What do you think? Well, they do They, they do some, some similar, similar things out there. They, their guards are very good. Their guards drive the ball. They, they can score inside. They can score outside. And their big guys just do a great job of scoring the ball around the basket and also can on the perimeter and do some things as well. They are very similar, but there is some, like, the differences that we saw yesterday. You saw a UCLA team yesterday that was a great defensive team, not a great offensive team. Then you saw a Carolina team that's a great offensive team, not a great defensive team. In these two teams, you have two teams that hold people under 40% defensive field goal percentage, yet are very good offensive teams. If we're going to go for the three-point shooting, Kansas has the edge of three-point shooting, but I'd say Memphis has the edge when it comes to going off the dribble. I think the difference is in the coaches. You know, Cal sitting in the dorm there or back in the hotel trying to figure out what he can put on his shoulder. Some sort of chip uh, to get his kids a little bit aggravated, saying it's been unfair and unwarranted. Uh, I'm looking for Kansas to play at the highest level. If they do, we should have a great game. If they don't, I don't think it'll be a contest, quite frankly. I think they have to come out of the gates as well prepared as they did last night uh, because when you think of Memphis, I've never seen guys dribble drive as good as this. They break it down. And, uh, you know, you were a very good defensive coach, and so is Joe. Where do you get the help from? Because they spread you, and somebody's going to have to help, and they can find people. Yeah, their guards really just overpower you around the basket. Guys like Rose, they shoot over these smaller guards, and I, I agree with you. I think they're going to have a hard time containing these guards off the dribble. And that's been the other big thing is because of the size of their perimeter, 6'7", uh, Douglas Roberts, Antonio Anderson, 6'6", six, six, Derrick Rose, 6'5". They are a tough matchup, not only on the offensive end, but defensively, oh, they've, been, they've been smothering Absolutely. every backcourt they've, they've played against. They've been unbelievable. Absolutely. Real quickly, let's go one key matchup each for you guys. Joe, you go first. Well, I, I think you got to go with the guards. I think they have to neutralize the Memphis guards. If they don't, I don't I don't see Kansas winning this game. And even to go a little further with that, Joe, I think Brandon Rush, Chris Douglas Roberts, I can't wait to see that one because Chris Douglas Roberts has been bigger than most of the people that have guarded him all year. Now he's going to have somebody, Bill, that's going to look at him eye to eye. Oh, absolutely. If he plays big, it'll be interesting who he has to play, Rush. But Chalmers, to me, is the key. Can he stop if it happens to be Rose? Can he contain him and also play his game at the other I mean, he's a very talented kid. He can get numbers, and he can provide a lift for the others. So I think he's a very important factor, at least for Kansas. And to see who everybody picks on Destination San Antonio, presented by Coors Light, be sure to be with us on CBSSports.com until the championship game Monday night on CBS. For these three gentlemen, I'm Jason Horwitz. Take care, folks.